Hilchus to Maseichlin, Perik Achadoser. Habetzer Anovim Limkir Bashuk. Someone that's harvesting grapes in order to sell Bashuk, a Liabshim, or to go and dry it out, make it raisins. So the din is lay hukshir le tumma, at sheyiplu alay mashkin, le rutsein a kishar eichel. So it has a regular din of eichel, regular eichel, in order to become mukshir le kabel tumma, it has to be one of the zayin mashkin, falls on it, le rutsein That's posh. Avol, a beitzer lidreich, when a person harvests grapes in order to make it into wine. So here there's a din de rabon on hukshir le tumma, even before you know any that anything fell on this on these grapes, any mashke fell on these grapes. The grapes already have a din of hukshulitum. Even though nothing, no mashke fell as far as you know, but nevertheless, it's already hukshulitum. And therefore, vim nogabi tumma, if tumaf touched it, is nitma. The dover exeg, from this din that grapes that were harvested in order to make into wine has a din of being hukshul letumah without it actually knowing that it was hukshul letumah because shaomim could happen that this was taka hukshar shepaomim shaodim nichmus lekarme leidem igil libatzer there's you have a karem which you're interested in harvesting in order to make into grapes so then there's a possibility that a person goes into this karem and he wants to know whether it's ready the time to harvest in others whether the wine that's going to come out of these grapes will be good so he does, what he does is seichel eshkel shalanovim livdig basically, he squeezes out an eshkel shalanovim to, to see whether the wine that comes out of it is good wine. Um mezalfi al gabi hanovim b'absuris. Now if he would be in a place where, let's say, we're talking about in a situation where he's not harvesting it in order to, to, to squeeze, to, to make into wine, but he wants to sell, so he's not going to stop pouring wine over the grapes that he wants to sell because it's going to make the grapes it, it's, it's, it's going to make the grapes it knows they'll have this wine on top of it and that now will be good for selling Masha'inkin if he's having grapes which he's anyways going to go and he's going to go and, and uh, squeeze it out for wine so the fact that this wine is pouring on top of it doesn't disturb him it makes it better so he said, He's, he, he, he pours it on top of the of the grapes which were already harvested. And if he pours it on grapes that weren't harvested yet, so that's not really machsher. But he pours it on grapes that were already harvested. Why do we are we cheshish that he's going to pour on those grapes? Shari hakil Notice if these grapes are going to be sold. So he's not going to pour it on those grapes. Masha'inkin, if they're going to be squeezed anyways, so hakel edrichem. So basically, the Rambam is saying lechura that when you have grapes that were that 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 you were beitzer, you were beitzer for the gas in order to lidrich begas. So therefore, and that there's always a chash that maybe that those grapes were hukshal kabel There's a chash that those grapes were hukshal kabel That's number one. The eight another ma'aser bepnei. Normally, when a person takes grapes off the vine, so he's going to put it down softly because he doesn't want the grapes to crack. He's going to go sell these grapes. So he wants the grapes to be complete grapes. Masha'inkin, if he's interested in going ahead and squeezing these grapes for wine, so he doesn't mind to throw it down. Since he throws it down, so the wine is like oozing out of the grapes. And that wine that's oozing out of the grapes is not something which he's not makbar on. He is makbar on because he doesn't want to lose it. That's what he's saying. Shari, He's not makbed that the grape should remain complete. If the chareyu it gets crushed, and the yetsu meimav and the wine oozes out of it, who makbed aleim shali yazuvu bekarka. He's makbed on that wine. He doesn't want that wine should be yazuvu bekarka because if he, wine would be coming out of it, that he's not makbed like we learned behemshich. He wouldn't have a din of it wouldn't have a din of mashke. It's dafke wine which you're interested in that wine. Is venimtza muksher be lefichel gazru shabeitzel legas uksher. So he made a takana that beitzel legas is uksher. Why? Because first of all, it's possible he was taka machsherit because of, there could be this possibility that he went into ba legas and he and he went into the vineyard and he wanted to be boydik and he was mezalfe al gabe on al gabe on novim apsuris. That's one possibility. And also another possibility is the chlal that there's wine oozing out of those grapes because he's not makpid on aleim and he's makpid on the wine. So therefore, they're mukshir. So they made a takana that all grapes that you were that you harvested in order to make into wine has a din of mukshir, and if a tummy touches it, it's tummy. Halacha base. Now, habetzer anovim 
שאם לי מוצא להם שוק, מחזירים לגז. זאת אומרת, in his mind was that really he's going to sell it. But לפל, if he's not going to sell it, so then he's going to bring it to the gas. He already thought to himself that if he doesn't sell it, he'll bring it to the gas. But his Chathila's intent wasn't the gas. So the din is lay hukshiru. Ad she yaveil the rishus ha-gas. Until they actually are in the gas, they're already in the rishus ha-gas, only then are they hukshiru. Masha'ink, on, on their way to the gas, they're not hukshiru. Because there's always a possibility that if we'll meet someone and that person will want to buy it, it's, no, there's evil lechuri is on his way to the gas. So lechuri right now it's ready for the gas. But the mice said there's always a possibility that if someone will meet him and that person will want to buy the grapes, he'll sell it because he's lechatchila. His original plan was to sell it. It's just if he doesn't have a buyer, he's going to go and make wine from it. <clears throat> so until it's nichlus or rishus agas, it's still a medumchira. V'chein hazaysim shabol rishus abad. Which we'll learn by Ham Shech Hazaysim Shabol or Shus Habad is also Hukshiru. Kimei Shi is Bar. So Benegir Zaysim, we don't have this din, that Zaysim which you cut, in order, you harvest it in order to make it into to oil, you should have already a din of Hukshiru, like we'll learn by Ham Shech. Mashaink in this din, that has Zaysim Shabol or Shus Habad, the Hukshiru that we do have this din. So, like the, they all say by Ham Shech. Halacha Gimu, Haboitzer Anovim. The last number of it is a shot can al gabi olin. Ha olin is hook shiru be mashkin a yetzimem. When a person harvests grapes, so here we're talking about he harvests grapes to eat or to sell in the shuk, not in order to 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 uh, to to make into wine. If he harvests to make it into wine, it becomes mele right away mukshu al kabel tumah. Now he harvests it in order to eat or to sell. Now the question is, he, he puts it in a place, and there's wine coming out of those grapes. The question is, is, is that wine that's actually coming out of the grapes machshir the grapes, or it's not machshir the grapes? So it depends. If he's interested in that wine, if that wine is something he doesn't want it to go to waste, so then, then it has a din of wine, and then it is machshir the anovim in order in, 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 to mekabal tumah. Mashainkin, if it's wine that he's not interested in, so the so then it doesn't have a din of wine, and therefore it's not machshir the kabal tumah. That, that's this din. That's the kud of the din. Allah gimel. Which is like a pit, a place where the wine that oozes out of these grapes will, will, will be gathered and won't go to Ibut. He put it on top of leaves where again the wine won't go to Ibut. So the din is Hukshiru Bimashkin Ayetzimam. So the grapes become Mukshir with the Mashkin that comes out of the grapes. Sharei Daita La Mashkin. He's not interested in the Mashkin. That's why he put it on top of the leaves. Or he put it in the oven. Or he put it in the oven. Shuk and made bear. It's like a bear which is going to contain this liquid. Lefichoch. Im notl mematomi. Since it's Mukshir Le Kabel If someone that's Tommy touches it, takes from it, a Mishayod of Tmeis is Timon. That's this. That's the din because he put it in a situation, in a place where it's obvious that he's interested in the mashke which is coming out of it. However, botzar v'nosal usalim eb mashteich shel adama. He put he, he he harvested it and he put it into baskets where if if mashke oozes out of it, it's going to fall out through the bas- m- m- basket because the basket doesn't contain mashke. The mashke goes out of the basket or on a flat place, piece of ground. Is also le- so then lehukshu. So then the grapes, even though wine is oozing out of these grapes, is lay hukshiru. He's not makpad on this mashka. And since the lay hukshiru, the tummy could take and eat. Even if they're cracked, these, these grapes, and they're dripping, and they go, and he goes into the gas, and he's eating these grapes, and they're dripping into the gas. Is harei agas teira? The gas is still teira because the wine doesn't have the wine doesn't have a din of wine, so therefore they're not makabel tumah. Side, just like they're not machsher because he's not interested in the wine, they're not machsher lekabel tumah, so they're also not makabel lekabel tumah. Sharei lehukshru, and vaharei niftzru lachila. They were late nift. Because if they would have been niftzru, if they would have been niftzru. For 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 dricha, so then they would have been makabel to me regardless. But since they were nifsru lachila and they were lay hukshru, there was no hachshir because they because there was no mashke that had a din mashke that fell on them beratzen and therefore so it's lay hukshru. V'chein hanoitol min asalim and min ashtir shel adama va'achal and v'hoiser kisok sosai v'zark malgas. Now there I'm saying a chidush. A person went ahead and took from these salim, or mashter shel adama, which divide, didn't have a din of hechsher, and he, lepel, he left over a little bit, 
And then the Zark and the Gas, and he threw her into the Gas. The Gas is the place where the wine press is. So Luchur, from this wine is being Menatis Ol Hanovim, and he was Tommy. He was Tommy. Is nevertheless Lei Hukshu, the Lei Hukshu. Now the Raivet asks that Luchur, when he is already going and throwing it into the wine press, so at that point in time, is the, now it's all of a sudden became used. For, 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 for to, to make into wine. Like the Ram is going to say in the next halacha, that when a person takes, let, let's go uh, next halacha. Halacha dalit. Anovim shoyu b'salim eb mashtiach shel adoma and v'lokach mehem and they weren't, there was no wine on them. And v'lokach mehem l'dorchom and then he took for them l'dorchom. Huchshiru. L'fichach tzorach likach mehem b'yadayim teiris. You have to take b'yadayim teiris. Why? These b'salim eb mashtiach shel adoma didn't have a din of huchshiru like we learned before. Or even if there was wine coming out on it, they didn't have it in a hukshu. But Lapel he took from them Ludorchon. So now it's Hukshiru. Lafikh Sarak Likak Membi Yadim Tayris, Kiday, Shiliit on them atomi viatama. So the Tommy shouldn't take and those these grapes, even though until now they didn't have a din of Heksher because they weren't interested in the wine, but when he takes this the, these grapes, Almanas to go ahead Lidorchum. So now all of a sudden becomes Lidorchum. And wine which you harvested Lidorchum has a din of uh, of Tumma, of 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 of, of le Kabul Tumma. So the male is like a stira on those Halakadalit says clearly the Anovim show you Basalim Vulakhmem Lidorchum and Hukshiru. And over here we're learning about the same case, the Anovim Show you Basalim Mashtiak Shalhadama, and he went ahead and he ate it, and he was Hoyser Kisok Sasaim. And then the Zork and Lagas. So the Khur, the Zrika Lagas is like Lokach Mehem, Lokach Mehem, Ledarchan. And the Khur, and he's Tommy. So the Khur, at that point in time, he was Matamidam. So that's the Ravid asks on the Rambam. There's like a different trying to answer, Pshat the Rambam, that maybe even though he's Zork and Lagas, but that doesn't actually mean that it was clearly Daiti Lidrich. It's a little bit uh, the Pashtus. Daiti Lidrich means he has in mind now Lidrich. Now, why was he Zorka Legas? The pastor is also Daiti Lidrich. That's not the Kasha of the Rivet. Unless you're going to say that, no, that Zorka Legas is not Daiti Lidrich. That's what the Ram Ha'aruch is bringing a terrace. But it's not so glad. It's not such a glad to get there. Now, so we had the Dinder Abonon that Anovim, which you were Botsron, in order to press Lidrich Begas, has a din of Hukshir. Now there's another dinder abonon that a beisa pras is tummy, a beisa pras is tummy. That's a dinder abonon. Now lepel will come out that if you have the mashal a kerem in a beisa pras, and you're going to go ahead and be boitzer the kerem al menas lidrich, so memela right away it's considered mukshul lekabel tumma. And anyone that's a beisa pras has a din of tummy, so memela there won't be a hechetimtza that you could go ahead with a kerem in a beisa pras. That you'll be able to use from it lidr lidr begas because lepel as soon and it'll be betar this because as soon as you harvest it lidrich it becomes mukshul kabel tuma and it's right away makabel tuma because you're in a beisa pras so because of this the rabbanon made that in a beisa pras it doesn't have this din that it's mukshul kabel tuma this special din the rabbanon that when a person is harvest grapes lidrich begas it's considered mukshul kabel tuma doesn't apply in a beisa pras. Because it's like two derabonos, it doesn't apply in a base pras. So therefore, if you if you derech in base pras, it's not mukshel lekabotum. Abul the pale the marshal this person that's in a base pras. He's, he he was he he was harvested in a base pras, and now he has these grapes. So the pale the grapes aren't yet mekabotum because the grapes weren't yet mukshel lekabotum. But now if that those grapes are going to go out of the base pras. So if the grapes are going to go out of Beis Pras, since these grapes are oimed lidrech begas, so anyone outside the Beis Pras that's going to touch these grapes that is tummy, he's going to be matamit. So in other words, while they were in the Beis Pras, they didn't have a din of muksha lekabotum. They didn't have a din of muksha lekabotum. When they came out of the Beis Pras, they did have a din of muksha lekabotum. So when they go out of the Beis Pras, the of the person that's in the Beis Pras is going to carry it out of the Beis Pras. So that person inside the Beis Pras, he didn't have a din of muksha lekabotum. But when the person that's Tommy walks out of the Beis Pras, at that point in time, it does have a din of Hukshul Kabul Tumma. And he wasn't the Chabesa Pras, he was Tommy. So in Mele, he'll be Matamit. So the only Eitzah is, is that he should walk out with it, walk with it till the end of the Beis Pras, and give it or put it outside to, the, to, to someone that's not Tommy. 
So he, he, by him giving the grapes to someone that's not Tommy, that person is so the grapes talk at this point in time is Muksha the Kabul but that person is not Tommy. Now if the person that's giving him the standing in the base of Ras to the person that's standing outside the base of Ras is going to touch him, so it'll be Matamiyam. So Mimela obviously it's not going to work. So the Ainla Aids is to give it to him without touching him. That's this Allah Allah. Kerem Shu Aimid the Besa A Kerem which is standing in the Besa Pras is a Baitzer Aisil Gas any muksha. So this dinner that normally we had in the beginning of this period, that a Baitzer Legas is Muksha the Kabul Tumah, doesn't apply to a Kerem which is Aimid Besa Pras. That's only calls Mansho Besa Pras. While these grapes are still in the Besa Pras, the grapes don't have a dinner of being Muksha the Kabul Tumah. Why? Because Hail the Tumah is Besa Pras mit the whole Tumah Besa Pras only a Drabon, but Besa Legas Hukshir is also mit So therefore, he Kilo Bixera Zu, they were making in this Gzera that something that was Besa Legas becomes Hukshir, and when he goes through all of Shea, Mukshir Achesim Besa Pras. Once these grapes leave the Besa Pras, then they have a dinner of being Mukshir the Kabul Tumah, Lefichah. A person wants to harvest grapes in a base of pras, and he wants it to be tur. So what does he do? So he has to first of all make sure that the people that are going to be boitzer and the kalim that are going to go in should be tur. And umazalim not stam tur umazalim shlishi ushvi umarif shimshon kidei lahaker she mekablim mekil mitumas base pras. In other words, we. Lechure, the people are going into a base of pras anyway, so they're going to become tummy. When they're going to walk out of this base of pras, they're going to have to need azor shlishu shvi. So lechure, and, and we're not we're not really sure that they, these people bechlal needed azor shlishu shvi. But nevertheless, there was in order to to make sure that people shouldn't think that we're stop being makel in a base of pras. So they're showing no that these people have to go into the base of pras and they're 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 being they're imazon them shlishu shvi to show the whole chumra. The, the, you're being retired the Beitzim and the Kalim, and you're being Mazalim Shlishi Yushvi or Marif Shimshon to show that we're not stopping being Mekel with Tumis Beis Apras. El Mepnei Shu Safik. Because Shein Makil with Tumis Beis Apras, El Mepnei Shu Safik. That's not Stam Azea Because since it's a Safik, I'm not 100% sure how, what we're showing over here. We're showing, you know, as if these people would have gone, gone into Beis Apras and we would have said the dinners that it's not muksha le kabel tumah, so we would have said keilu were being makel in the dinner based apras. Not, I'm not sure this this, this nekud there, but I'll call upon him. The, the din is clear. Maza a beitzim es hakelim, umaza leim shlishu shvi, umarif shimshon. So the people that go into the base apras, even though they go into base apras and they can become tummy there, but we have to make sure that they're absolutely tore before they go in. Kedela hacker that it's not stamakula she makil el base ap. Betumas beis apras elam pnei shu sofik. You know, if these people would go in and we'd stand be mekel, so we think we're being mekel bechlal. But now that we're seeing over here that bechlal, these people were makbed that they should be betar, and it's just that the beis apras aspect of it were being mekel. So that shows that we're only being mekel because of the beis apras aspect, which is a sofik. A kopar v'achar kach nechnosinu beitzin umitzin chutz lo beis apras. And they take it out of the Beis Apras, but they can't walk outside the Beis Apras with it. Because if they're going to walk outside of the Beis Apras with it, so the, the, as soon as the, the, the grapes are outside the Beis Apras, so they become Muksha the Kabul and the people that were in the Beis Apras are Dukhtami. So Memelo, Mitzin Chus the Beis Apras, Vacherim Teherim the Kabul Mem. The other people which are Tur are Makabul from these people that were in the Beis Apras, Umelich and Legaz, and they take these grapes, they bring the Legaz. If the people that were in the Beis Apras touch the people that were outside the Beis Apras, is Tmeim. So these people that are outside the Beis Apras become Tommy. The people that are in the Beis Apras are Tommy. The people that are in the Beis Apras are Tommy. So if the people in the Beis Apras would touch the people that are outside the Beis Apras, so the people in the Beis Apras, would make the people outside the base of Pras Arishan and Mamela, they would be Matame, they, they would be Matame, they are novum. So therefore you have to make sure that the people in the base of Pras, even though they hand the Anovum to the people outside the base of Pras, but they don't touch those people that are outside the base of Pras. Now all this was talking about grapes. When a person is Beitzer Anovum Legas, so the din is the Anovum is Hukshiru. That din doesn't apply to Zesim. Hamoisik halach of vov. Hamoisik as zesov lekovshon elamochrom b'shuk. When a person goes ahead and harvests his grapes, he harvests his grapes. Now, by grapes, it's called haboitzer. 
And by Zesim, it's called Hamoisek. Someone harvests his, 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 his olives, I'm sorry. Hamoisek is Zesim, Lekovshon, to pickle them. A Lemokrum Bishuk, not to make them oil. Is Le Hokshiru, they're not Hokshiru. Achi Yiplo Le Mashkin Beratzim, Kishar Echum. They have a regular din of Michael, and therefore they're not Hokshiru until Mashke falls on it Beratzim. That's the number one. V'chein, hamoisig zeisov lidrech bebeis abad. When a person harvests olives in order to go and squeeze them in the beis abad and to make oil out of it, is lay hukshiru, and over here is acha digomer malakto. So this is different. So in other words, hamoisig, lukovshon, so it has to be a regular hukshiru, regular din hukshiru, there's no special dinam. Masha'inkin, if he's moisik in order to lidrech bebeis abad, so then, is lay hukshru achet igamer malachtam. Once it's nigmer malachtam, which is Ramel Taitrus, what's nigmer malachtam? At that point in time, it's considered hukshru. Mima yukshru azaysim shen nigmer malachtam. Why is there a din that the zaysim wants the nigmer malachtam? They're taka hukshru because sheches gosay she hukshru b'meil sholem shariyetsi b'kiyumam k'dei sheil nechem lidrich. Whereas once he finished already har- harvesting and he has already all the olives there. And now he's ready. He notices he finished harvesting, so he's interested in the in the oil. It's not really oil. It's like a certain liquid that's coming out of the grapes. That's called the moil, the liquid. That's not oil. That's the, the liquid that's coming out of the grapes, the black liquid, and that causes that the, the I'm sorry, out of the out of the olives, the, the 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 liquid that's coming out of the olives, and that helps that the olives should soften and should be easier to squeeze them out and get out the oil. Now, in the beginning, when you start harvesting these olives, and you didn't yet finish harvesting, it wasn't nigmar malachtam, which we'll soon see. Nigmar malachtam means you already finished, and you already have all the olives you want to harvest. So then, you're not really interested in that liquid oozing out of it. Because if it's going to last it too long, so the, the, those olives which are on the bottom are going to get spoiled. So you don't want them to get spoiled. What you want is once you're already nigmar malachtam, that's when you want that the liquid should start oozing out, and then that liquid is oozing out berots. That's what he's saying. Shecheskoson shehukshiru b'meil shalem. At that point in time, once it was nigmar malachtam, the chazak is that they were hukshiru with that liquid that oozes out of them. Shehariyetze b'kiyume is interested in that liquid. Kedei shiyonech and lidrech, that should make it easier to press the olives. Avul kedem shev digom malachtam, but before us digom malachtam, eina meil ha'yetze mamakshir. That liquid that comes out of it is not machshir. Why? And the reason why he's ain't erase b'kiyume is because it's too early. He doesn't want that liquid to ooze out. Because if the olives are going to be sitting in that liquid too long, it's going to ruin the olives. L'fichach zesim shaloy nigmar malachtam shenofla le mashkin tmeim is ain't tommy el mokim agoyim. If you have olives, that you have olives sitting there, and lepel it was le nigmar malachtam. Since it was le nigmar malachtam. So they're not hukshir le kabultuma. Since they're not hukshir le kabultuma, and so and so even the mashka that's over there doesn't have a din of mashka. So now let's say if mashkan tmeim fell on these zaysim, so the places where the zaysim, the mashkan tmeim fell on the zaysim, so we learned that mashka tmeim is sai metami and sai machshir keachot, but only those places where the, the it actually fell, those zaysim where it fell on. Mashaink and all the other zaysim are still tar. Whereas when you have Mashkin, t- ma- knows when the zaysim are already hukshiru, which means that the liquid that's coming out of the zaysim have a din of mashka and memela. They're being machsha the zaysim because it's berotsin. So then, when something falls that's metami the zaysim, so since there's liquid all over the zaysim from this mashka that's oozing out, so and that mashka already has a din of mashka because we're talking about is nigmar malachte. So therefore, you're happy with it. So memela, so it all becomes tummy. All the mashka becomes tummy. Once all the mashka becomes tummy, all the zesim become tummy. That's poshut. When you have mashka that's tummy, so then all the zesim become tummy. Mashengen, if you don't have mashka that's tummy, so only the zesim that actually came into contact with the mashkim tummy became tummy. That's what the Ram is saying. Lefichok zesim shalei nigmar malachtam. If you have zesim that was lei nigmar malachtam, so therefore the mashka that's coming out on it is not mashka and it also is not mekabel tummy. So, and therefore, that, those days, Shnafla lay mashkim tmeim, ain't tummy, el mekem agoy. Only the place where these mashkim tmeim touch, kechole echlum shlei hukshru. Like all echlum shlei hukshru. However, nafla lay mashkim tmeim, achesh nigma malachdom. If the mashkim tmeim fell on it, 
after Shemigram Olachtam. So then this mashka that came out of the Zaysim, have it in of mashka, so then it mukulam. Then all the Zaysim become tummy. Why? Shamashkin atmeim, metamin is hamel shemem, because the mashkin atmeim that fell on the Zaysim are being, being metame, the moil, the, 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 the liquid which is oozing out of the Zaysim, which have it in of mashka. And Bahamel, Matami is Kulam. So now this Moel became Tommy, and now the Moel is Matami, all the Zaysim. Shamel, Shiyotsim, and Achar Gmamalatum, Choshev Mashke, is called Mashke, and therefore, Umistame, Umachshir, its side becomes Tommy, and side it's Machshir, the Mem Kabotum. Halacha Zay. Chavis shall Zaysim Migul Golim. You have a Chavis of Zaysim, which are salted, salted Zaysim. And th- now, if you have this whole barrel of Zaysim, so obviously there's going to be Mashke oozing out of it. And the question is, are you interested in this mashka or you're not interested in the mashka? So, so, so you have to show you're not interested in the mashka. So if you make a hole on the bottom of the barrel, so obviously that mashka is going to be falling out of that hole, so that's an indication that you're not interested in the mashka. That's what he's saying. You have to make a hole in, the, in this barrel. That this mashka, this liquid, should ooze out of it. The it was out of the barrel. The im lay nikav, and if you didn't make a hole, is a real mukshara because that would be an indication that you're interested in the mashka. Now nikful lepel, if you did make a hole, and lepel so small shmorim, the hole got fashed up because the sediment of this mashka, of this oil, of this whatever a mashka is, stuffed up the hole. Varein blul bemeil, and now these these olives, these these zaysim gulgolim are mixed with the uh, moil, with this with this liquid. Since he made a hole, so the pill is ain't a bretzene. The fact that right now the uh, the sediment fashed up the hole doesn't make it bretzene. Yeah. So we spoke we spoke before that if it's moskon ledricha, so the din is that it's not mukshel lekabotum. That's where we started halacha vav. Hamesik zeisiv ledricha is not. I mean, the Hamesa Zesa Lidrech is not mukshel lekabotum, but once it's gmar malachtom, it is considered mukshel lekabotum. So now then it's time to discuss what's called Gmar Malach. Malach Eches. Zeisin Shemoskon Ledrichi. You went ahead and you harvested olives in order to press it in the press and to take out oil. And we say once there's Gmar Malach at that point in time, it's considered Mukshar. Me'eim Masai Gmar Malach What's Taich Gmar Malach Tom? Me'shiti Gomer. When you finished harvesting all the olives and you finished harvesting the olives. And v'yu Munochim Umuchonim Ledrichi. And they're ready now to go be pressed. Even though they're perfectly dry, all these olives, there was no mashkin fell on it, no mashkin came out of it. Once it's nigrim malachtim, is hukshu. And the reason was, because generally moil comes out. But lepel, even if lepel, male didn't come out, so they're right away a hukshu malachtim. But before gmar malachtim, Aval pishim is machonos. We're saying if it was nigmar malachtam, so even if they're perfectly dry, they have a din of hukshu. But if it was kedem shidi gomer malachtam, is aval pishim is machu. Even if they they were already quetched the izil and they, and they were sweating, and maybe there was wetness there. And this chabru mashkeim and they were all st- together. Nevertheless, ainam mukshom mukshar. So they're not mukshar. And that at that point in time, they're not mukshar lekabel tuma. Now, Gomar Milimsik Zesim, in other words, all the Zesim that you have, you finished already harvesting. But you want to, so you still want to make wine, you want to go buy Zesim. I will also leak out Zesim Acherim, Lehesim you're interested in buying some more, some more olives to add to the olives which came out of your olive tree, trees, and, and to add and, and to make olives, and to make oil also from those olives. Is Afilo Eino Osid Lehesim Lekave Kabai. Even re- in reality, you're only interested in a little bit more olives. You have a lot of olives and you want a little bit more. Is lay hukshur, so lepel, you're not ready yet. Lepel was lay nigmar malachtam. That's only talking about if it's a reality. If it's a reality that you, you, you harvested your olives and you want to have some more olives, even not, not very much more, but a little bit more, nevertheless, it's considered that you're not finished yet. And therefore, it's lehushu. However, vim harim, if in reality you taka finished, and the only reason you know that if you're finished, it's going to be mukshu lekabel tumah, and you don't want it to be tummy. So, mainly, you made up in your mind that you're going to go ahead and buy it in order to to prevent it from being hukshu. So, if this is all a haram, vim harim is areila mukshar. Whereas this din doesn't apply if it's bchena haram. Now, gomer malikach, you finished buying. I will also the little vessel hesav, and the money you have. You finished already. You don't have any more money, but you want to borrow money and to buy more olives. 
In the era, overly anus in the sasik be mishta v'le hesav. The vayle he didn't get a chance to do it. And those, in your mind, you still want to borrow money, and and you want to go ahead and and uh, and and buy more olives. And lepel you got you you, you, you you something happened, and as a result of that, this was postponed. Is a dying leiv nigra malachim lepel. Since in your mind you're still going ahead and borrowing money in order. To buy olives in order to add to the, the amount of olives to make oil, so mel is niglig merlachtam ve'ena mekabel tuma, and therefore vafilu zavim vezavis mahalchan alim, which are mamish tmeim, mamish avatumas. Nevertheless, they're mahalchan alim; they can walk on, and nevertheless, is tail. Halachetes ha'oitin zeso bishnei badim. Whereas you you made part, you made two 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 places, or two separate presses. You put zesim in one press, and these are the zesim you're going to put in this press. And you're going to put zesim in another press, so you have to take a more zesim to press. But in this press, you're only going to do one, and and, and you do the other in another one. Is kivin shegomer aches mem hukshu lekabel tuma. So in other words, you you went ahead and you whatever you're going to do in this press is already finished. You still have more olives, and you're going to do it in a different press. And maybe you started putting in the second press, you didn't finish. But I'll call upon him since you finished the one press. That's called digmar malachtam, and therefore as a din of hukshu. Halacha yud, hamaisik zeisav begol la'elyen, v'hoyis v'osid lahiridam legol la'tachtun. The, the olives are growing in gol la'elyen. But lepel, you have intention of bringing these olives to the gol la'tachtun, and over there, you're going to make it into oil. So the din is eim makabim tumas, even though l'chur, you finished already, you finished harvesting all the olives, but lepel, they're not really ready to be pressed into, into oil, because lepel, your, your intent is to, to trans, transport these olives to the Gola Tachten. So the din is Ein Makablum Tuma, Achi Ridim Lusham. Now, Vuhu Shechoshev Aleim Kedem Shimsik. This has to be before you harvested, your original intent was to harvest it here and to bring it there. Masha'in Ken Aval Achish Shimsik, once you already harvested in Gola Elyon. And then you, and, and the pastures at that point in time was Nigmar Malachtum. And now, all of a sudden, you change your mind. You decide you're going to har- you're going to press it in gol atachten. So then, is ena machshove moelis el huchshur? They were huchshur. They were already huchshur. Now, lechur it means. I'm, I'm, Moshe, what happens if in middle? In other words, he was in the middle of harvesting his zesim. So the ram like it's like a shtigal, like a, a, the diak of the ration. Who shechishav aleim kedem shiim sik? Avol acher shiim sik ena machshove moelis. So kedem shiim sik sounds like before he starts harvesting. And Achar Shimsik means after Lechuri means after he finished har- harvesting. I mean, the Pashtas Advar Mustafa means that once he finished harvesting, so at that point in time it would became already Hukshir Lekabal Tuma. So the fact that now all of a sudden he decided to bring it to Gol Latachten, that's not going to change the Matzah. I mean, if, if Le Moshal, while he was in the middle of harvesting, and Lepela wasn't yet Hukshir, and he's only going to be Hukshir after he's going to be Nigmar Malachtam, and before that happened, he, he decided. To bring it to the Gola Tachtan, the Pashtus Advarim would say that he still, that, that Makshava still helps. And the Mele, it won't talk to be Muksha until he brings it down to the Gola Tachtan. That's the Pashtus Advarim. Now, Gomer Zesim, he finished harvesting his Zesim, for Osid Lamachram, and his intent is to sell him, Le Hukshu. So they're not Hukshu because that was only when he finished harvesting Amanas Lidrich. Now, Osid Lechapeson Baolin. If he's intending on covering the rose, he wants to go ahead lidrich, but lepel he still wants to cover them with leaves in order to protect them. Is hukshiru mekablin tuma? So if he goes to sell them, so that's obviously he's not ready yet. Uh, then he's not. It's not almanas lidrich begas. Mashenkel of is almanas lidrich begas. But if once first lechapes and baolin, so then that's hukshiru. That's not considered that it's not nigmar malachtin yet. Halacha yudalif halikeach maton zesim and agoy. So he bought he, he bought a matan zesim and agoy. So the question is, Jose, the din is that if it was nigmar malachtam, so then it's hukshiru lekabel tumas. So then the goy was mutamit. But if it wasn't nigmar malachtam, so mele it's not hukshiru lekabel tumas. So therefore, the fact that the goy is tummy doesn't make a difference because he wasn't mutamit. It wasn't hukshiru lekabel tumas. Now, how do you know whether it was nigmar malachtam? So we say, Jose, im yesh moisek al pnei hadam if that keli. Which he picks the olives from the tree with, was next to this maton. So obviously, it doesn't no longer need it in the field. He brought he brought that keli here is yasu because then we could assume that he already harvested all the olives that he wanted to harvest. 
and therefore now it's Muksha Lekabal Tumah, and it was Mekabal Tumah from the Goy. So therefore, Yasser Betumah, you have to assume that it's Tumah. Sheze Becheskas, Shegomer is Becheskas, that the Maton was already Nigmar Malachti. Masha'enken, if this Moisik is not a play on so then we can assume that it's Tor, Vaistus. Vaistus is only if we see this Maton, this Moisik, a play on then we can assume that it was Nigmar Malachti, and therefore it has to be Yasser Betumah. Then the Ram continues, So even though Amoris is not Namar on Tumah Vitara, he's not Namar on whether it was Nitmo or Nitar, but he's Namar to say that it was that he was Le Gemartiv, that it was never he never finished yet with the Masika. Memele wasn't Huksha Le Kabul Tumah. Halacha Yudbeis. Haretza Litil Mizesim Shalei Nigrum Ulachtom. Velidrich. So the din is Hareza Noitl Mihem Betumah. He could go ahead, even though he's Tommy, he could take those Zaysim, Tuma Zaysim, which is lay Nigrum Malachtim, he could take with them Betuma, or Melechel Beis Abad Betuma, and he brings the Tilda Beis Abad Betuma, or Mechapa Hashar Betuma, and Mechapa the rest of the of the Zaysim Betuma, Vein Necheshe, Shere Yehuksher, Kedesh Yekab Betuma. It's not considered Hukshe Kedesh Yekab Betuma. Now the question is, are we talking about Zaysim, which actually have wetness to it? And those Luchur, Zaysim, which were Nigrum Malachtim, have a din of Tumah, even if they're dry. That's what we learned before. Zaysim that will lay nigmar malachtam don't have a din of Tumah, even if they're wet. Even if they're wet. Now over here, you're taking from Zaysim shalei nigmar malachtam and you're bringing them lidrich. So the question is, Lechura, these Zaysim which you bring the lidrich, bad some are nigmar malachtam And as right now, all you're interested in being doirich these. So Lechura, even if they are wet, so Lechura, how 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 you natal them with Tumah, that's the, it's like our questions in the Mepharshim that are asking to understand how is it that you're taking with them betuma and they're not considered nigrum malachtam lechura. You're taking these zesim amenas lidrich. Again, this svar is that maybe he still might bring it back to the to the original place. Not so clear. Not so clear. Could be we're t- dealing with zesim that are is dry. The zesim are absolutely dry. So if they would have a din of nigrum malachtam, so they would have a din of of hukshir regardless. Since they were never nigrum malachtam, so now you have to see whether or not they're actually muksha uh, lekabel tumah. We're talking about they weren't muksha lekabel tumah. So you're taking mizaysim shalei nigrum malachtam lidrech, and they weren't muksha lekabel tumah. So now you're being meilch based on bad tumah. I'm not sure. Not sure. I'm, I'm saying there's, a, there's an issue, but the halach is clear. The halach is clear. You have zaysim shalei nigrum malachtam, and you went ahead and took from those zaysim lidrech, and you see you're allowed to take from them tumah. That's what you're saying. You're allowed to take from them tumah. Halacha Yud Gimel. Hameniach ezeisov bekoisish. Koisish is a keli, which is like a smaller keli, which you you press olives, you crush olives on a smaller level. And the reason you put these ezeisov in the koisish, kadeshi yamtinu, that they should become wet, the yonechem li kotish, and it'll be easier to press. So the din is areilu mukshorim, because you're interested in them becoming wet. Hinicham she yamtinu, or you're interested in them getting softer. Yamtino lavdafka means getting wet. Yamtino mustafa means getting softer. Now he nichon she yamtino v'she yimlochen. The reason that you're interested, you're interested in getting softer, and you want to salt them. Acher she yamtino ena mukshorin. Sharidai tealim lekovshin. You're interested in pickling them. And vice too is that the moil, if if moisture will come out of these zaysim, it's not really an advantage for what you're interested in doing. In other words, if you're interested. In, in pressing them in order to take out oil, so the fact that they are <clears throat> that, that 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 if you're interested in pressing them, so then the fact that moisture is coming out of it is an advantage. So mail it's a mail, so therefore it's considered muksher. Mashainkin, if you're interested in uh, in in putting salt on them or pickling them, so this moil is actually going to ruin the pickling process. So therefore, you'd prefer that it, or, or, that this. Liquid doesn't come out, and therefore it's not considered berotz. The same thing next halacha, halacha yudalim. Hapitzea zeisim, a person cracks olives, shel truma biyadayim tmeis, is poslon, so he impossels them. Sheptziyos and igmar malachtam, because since by cracking them it's gmar malachtam, so the juice comes out, and the male, the juice comes out by gmar malachtam, and therefore they're muksha lekabel tume, and now you're dayim tmeis, so you're matami them. Now, tzoyin lesofka b'melech, mashayin, if you crack them, not, not to eat them as is, but you wanted to put salt on them. 
is lehukshiru because this liquid that's going to come out of the olive is not really an advantage. You want to put salt on it, and that's not good for the salt. You're not interested in in using it right now. You just want to know whether the shemen the has shemen. You want to know whether these olives have shemen. You want to know whether they're ready to be harvested. So you take an olive and you cut it open in order to see if there's shemen. So it's lehukshu because when you're just checking it to see whether there's shemen or not, that's not considered mashke, which is, has a din mashke le kabotuma. That doesn't have a din of mashke, which is mashke le kabotuma. Halacha tezvov. Hamenir zesim, it says here begas, but it should say begag. He puts his zesim on a roof. Legargeron uliyapshon. He's interested in drying out. Legargeron means that they should become each one a separate garger, a separate a separate seed like. They should become separate. The the the, 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 the olive should be separated and they should be dried out. There's a filahim rumama, and therefore there's certainly there's moisture that's going on in these zesim. Is nevertheless ainu mukshar because you're not really interested in the moisture. You're interested in ultimately drying them out. You put it on top of the roof in order to dry out. Now, nostan the bayish yilku. You put it right now into the house in order for them to be yilku. To yilku means that you want them to like they should shrivel and they should become soft. At this point in time, they should be shrivel and become soft. Is afal pisha osid las leisim legag. Eventually, what's going to happen is you're going to dry them out. But the process vice this is that at this point in time, you want them to become soft. That's one option. So, Mela, right now you do want the mashka. begag or you put it on top of the roof sheilku. Is afal pisha osid leposchon fiyafrasesim. You eventually you're going to open them up and you're going to crack them open and you're going to want them to dry out. Is nevertheless harayla mukshar. No, the chiddush over here is that even though ultimately you want it to dry out, but since at this point in time the mashke that's oozing out of it is something which is benefiting you, so therefore that mashke is considered lorotzen. So that was the case. I'm near zeisim bigag. So over there you are not interested in the mashke. Masha'enkin, if you're nothing but by sheilku, so right now you're interested in the mashke, even though eventually you're going to want to dry it out. Or you put it in the begag originally, also you're interested in the mashke, even though eventually you're going to have the other process, and then the, this mashke is not really what you're interested in. It's not what you're ultimately interested in, but since right now, in the meantime, this is what you're interested in, it's also mashke. Now, Nostan Babayas, you put it into a house, Achi Yishamar is gage, E Achi Elichim Lemokimacher, and as you need, you need to do something to your roof. So really, you want to bring it up to the roof. But the Vaila, you're putting it in the house, and in the house, it's sweating in their house. So the so the question is right now it's, it's becoming wet, but the pale is not gmar malachti. This is not really what you want to do. Eachi elichem lemokimacher is enim mukshorim shadai le nigmar malachtim, and therefore since it's le nigmar malachtim, it's not in the, really in the place where you want it to be. So therefore, it's not really it doesn't become mukshir because you're not really interested in this mashke at this point in time. Halachet zayin ha'oitin zeisa bershus amaritz. A person takes a zeisim. And they're ready, ready for, for, for to be pressed. And Mamela they're they're and they were ready Nigmaramalachtum. So they are Muksher Lakabutuma. And the Amoritz, if he's gonna go and touch it, so Amoritz has a din of Tame. So Mamela, so it'll be Matame this these these Zesim. The question are we Khosh is that the Amoritz went in there, it was Brishus Amoritz. And the din is he he was he 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 did this he was Oitan knows he made this pile, he filled up this this maton. In, in the Rishus Amaretz, and Vinal, he closed up, you know, he has a, a room over there, and he closed the room, and Vichosem, and he made some type of a simon, as we'll soon see, is Eineche Shem Yeshli Mafteach Acher, maybe he has another key, and as Noel means he locked it, or Vichesem Acher, or he made up another Chesem, which means another stamp, which, which Mimele, like, to, so to speak, um, forge the stamp that he made as if they didn't go in. When Achesh, but since you made a you were noyal or you were chaisim, we assume that the Amoris didn't go in. Afal pi shemotz nachmer. Afal pi shemotz a chaisim mekulkel. He found that the stamp was broken, or a mafteach pesuach, or the lock was opened. Nevertheless, I didn't tell him because we don't really know that the Amoris went in. Whereas we know that it was opened. Someone opened it. Maybe someone wanted to go in. But lepel, we don't know that someone went in. And to go in, your, the person would be nitfes all of kiganaf. So mele, we're not chaisim. Someone actually went in. When you say it, it has to be a chaisim, what does it mean a chaisim? Chaisim doesn't mean mamashep a, a, a stamp. A filu, 
of Chosim Shomra, Afilu Tzrei Rakisim. In other words, you put a certain rack over there, a certain piece of wood over there as a simon. If they open the door, you can see that that was moved. So it could be that person opened the door and he then eventually he closed the door and he put back the rack or he put back the kiss in the same way you did it. We're not chayshish. We're not chayshish that happened. Now, hoyishom churin uzdokim. There was holes in the in this partition where you had your this 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 oitim this maiton of zeisim is also ene chayshish shem and machnus kano misitim. Maybe you know if he put in a stick and he started moving those zeisim, so he would also be matam with the zeisim. But Tumas has it. Because an Amar says the din of Azov. So many we're not chayshish that he's going to go in and start moving, even though he was able to. But we're not chayshish he was doing it. However, hoyisham chaleinu shel arbot vachim, if there were openings of arbot vachim by arbot vachim, where he could actually go in to those openings, it would be like he left the open door. The mail is niden is kipsachim, and then it's not considered shomer. It's not shomer. If a person has a room in by an amaritz, and that room he has over there a maton of zesim, which are muksher lekabel tuma. The question is, did this Amaritz go in and was metami the zesim? So we say that if he was noilit, if he locked it, or if he put a simon, some type of a chaysim over there, so even if he found the lock broken, or if he found the simon broken, nevertheless, we're not chayshish that he went in. We don't, we're not chayshish that he went in. And when you say a simon, it doesn't mean a very, very complicated simon. It could be even a pebble or a piece of wood that knows he put it in a way that if he's going to move it, it'll be a simon to see that he moved it. We're not chayshish that he went in. Halacha yud zayin. So impressed olives, it was tomei, Memele, there was olive oil, which was tome that came uh, uh, that that came in contact with with the press. Now the question is: Now you want this press to be now a, a, a press which is tart. So obviously the press has to be tabled in the mikvah. The kalim and the press have to be tabled in the mikvah. But while that olive oil, which is tome, is still attached to it, it's not going to help the mikvah. So mainly you have to get rid of the olive oil, which is tome, which is attached to the press, which was nivla in the press. So then as I say, Hadeir Betumah, so impressed Betumah, Verotzel Letar, Klebis Abad Vaekel. He wants to be Matamir, the Kaili in the press, and Vaekel, Ekel is that Kaili which contained the olives in order that when the press goes down, the olives shouldn't fall down. And Verotzel Letar, Klebis Abad Vaekel, Mena Mashkin Atmeim Shnivlube. So Ketzed Yasser is clay, Shal Ezri Shal Avon, and if we're talking about a, a, a Kaili that's made out of wood or stone, is Midiach, so he rinses it off. Vishel Nesorim. Nesorim means that it's made out of canvas. Normally Nesorim would mean planks of wood, but over here it doesn't mean wood. We said the Kaili Shalates. Nesorim that's made out of canvas, so it's more absorbent, is Menagvan. The Ramadan doesn't tie true is what Menagvan is, but it's brought down that Menagvan means that you have to put like afer on top of it. First you, you put the afer on top of it, and that afer like absorbs the Shemen which is in there, and then you wash it off that afer, and then again you put afer on it to dry you off this water which you which you washed off the original afer from with, with and again you put on afer and again you wash it out so be kids you you put on afer and you wash it and you put on afer again and then you wash it that goes into the gather of managva the shell gemi something that's made out of gemi which is a certain type of grass is miyashnon koshne master chedish so either you wait for 12 months in order for it to be get completely dried out and then there's no longer any oil there or you heat it up in hot water, or in the juice of zesim, but I'll call upon you have to heat it up. Oh, another option is menichon taches sinner, shemeim of mekalchim. You could put it under a a a, um, a faucet, a water with the water is is is, is pouring the whole time. Or a techmayan or a spring, shemeim of reitvim, and you have to put it on. Shtei mesir shoyes for it to go for twelve hours straight. That it should be the water stripping on these, on this, uh, <coughs> on this gemi. V'achar kach once so no, once you got the oil off these kalim, either we spoke b'shal eitz was either mediach and then shenasarim was menagva, and shal gemi was these uh, different options of menagva. Either waiting for twelve months, or or you have water pouring on it for twelve hours straight. So then, and then you could be mishtamish betar.